hello guys welcome back to the channel so today we are going to discuss the top most asked interview questions for react okay so if you are appearing for a full stack developer interview or uh, if you are appearing for a front-end developer interview okay so these are the most often asked interview questions so be there till end uh, we are going to discuss the interview questions as well as the best possible answers which interviewer is going to ask okay so uh, if you like this kind of content then please do subscribe the channel and share the content with your friends maybe this kind of content will help them if they are preparing for any job interview okay so let's go straight into the first question so the first question is uh, explain the working of a virtual dom so as you all know react js work on a virtual dom pattern so angular is something which works on a real dom okay so let's uh, see how the virtual dom work okay so it works on three steps so the first one is for any underlying data changes the entire ui is rendered in virtual dom representation so this is your browser and this is the rendering of your ui okay so it has rendered in the virtual dom representation so this is the two changes happened okay now the next thing is the difference between the previous dom representation and the new dom is uh, going to be calculated okay so this is your real dom and this is your virtual dom okay so the difference will be calculated like what are the update what are the what are the updated change okay so it will identify the everything is same except these two particular change okay so instead of re-rendering the complete thing it is going to apply this these two changes only to the real dom okay so if you see this third part the real dom will be updated with only the things that have actually changed so this is your real dom so only these two nodes are going to be added here so this has now your the updated dom okay so this is how the virtual dom works in the react okay so let's go to the next question So this says, what is the difference between real dom and virtual dom so as i said real dom works uh, in case of angular and virtual dom works in case of uh, react js okay so let's see the difference first difference is uh, it can directly update the html however virtual dom cannot directly update the html okay the second difference is real dom creates a new dom if elements update okay so uh, it, it will create a new dom okay but in case of virtual dom it's only going to update the existing dom with the uh, changes okay that we have seen in the previous questions third one the third difference is there is too much of memory vestes in case of real dom because it's going to create a new dom for every a small change but that's not the case with the virtual dom okay uh, real dom will update slow however virtual dom will update fast dom manipulation is very expensive as we already know that uh, memory vestige is there so obviously it's become expensive however dom manipulation is quite uh, simple and easy in case of virtual dom okay so this was the difference between real dom and virtual dom let's go to the next question so the next question says what are the advantage of using react okay so uh, <clears throat> the first thing is it increases the application performance so because it, it works on the virtual dom it consumes less memory the dom manipulation is quite easy so obviously it will increase the application performance okay it can be used on the client side as well as the on the server side okay the third thing is because of the jsx okay javascript is syntax extension code readability has been increased okay react is easy to integrate with other framework like meteor and angular okay using react writing ui test cases become extremely easy so these are the advantage of using react js okay let's go to the next question so obviously uh, every coin has two sides so if there is something pros there will be some cons also so what are the limitation of react okay so the first thing is react is just a library not a full-blown framework so this is one of the disadvantages the second thing is its library is very large and takes time to understand for beginners okay so if you have just started to learn react js obviously it will take some time for you to understand the uh, in and out of react js so but don't worry ultimately you will be like uh, holding some grip over react js the third thing is it can be a little difficult for no voice programmer to understand no voice means uh, the someone who is starting to like learn okay coding gets complex as it uses inline templating and jsx okay so as as we know that uh, react js works on the jsx okay it not directly html okay so what is jsx so jsx is a shorthand for javascript xml okay this makes the html file really easy to understand okay so the next question says can browser read jsx directly the answer will be no browser cannot read jsx directly okay so browser can only read javascript object that jsx in not a regular javascript object okay 
यहाँ पे ईज होगा राइट सो जे एस एक्स इज नॉट अ रेगुलर जावा स्क्रिप्ट ऑब्जेक्ट ओके टू इनेबल अ ब्राउजर टू रीड जे एस एक्स फर्स्ट वी नीड टू ट्रांसफॉर्म जे एस एक्स फाइल इन टू अ जावा स्क्रिप्ट ऑब्जेक्ट ओके सी ऑल द ब्राउजर्स विल ओनली रीड द जावा स्क्रिप्ट ऑब्जेक्ट हाउ एवर जे एस एक्स इज नॉट अ जावा स्क्रिप्ट ऑब्जेक्ट सो फर्स्ट वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज वट एवर यूर राइट इन रियक्ट एवरी थिंग विल बी रिटर्न इन जे एस एक्स सो फर्स्ट द जे एस एक्स फाइल विल बी कन्वर्टेड टू द जावा स्क्रिप्ट ऑब्जेक्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मर ओके and then once it gets converted to the javascript object the browser is going to read it so in order to convert the jsx to javascript object you need some kind of transformer okay so we do have like babel as a common transformer being used nowadays let's go to the next question so it says what is a state in react and how is how is it used okay so a state is a built in react object that is used to contain data or information about the component okay a component's state can change over time whenever it changes the component re-renders okay so let's see some examples so this is your one of the class component okay form class component okay so here what we are doing is we are declaring one component called employees okay at this has three parameters name email and password okay so in in the next part i mean <clears throat> whenever we try to update the state okay for this employee so we'll be like updating the state or uh, let's take uh, something like uh, if you are kind of uh, hitting some apis okay and with the help of that api you are getting name email and password so you will be setting the name email and password here using uh, this dot set state so that is that is something different we'll be uh, uh, seeing that in next slide probably so this is this is the use of the state in the react js okay uh, this says how can you update the state of a component okay so as, as i was talking about the uh, this dot state state in the previous question okay so uh, this is the same thing so see here so here what i have done is this dot state state okay i'm declaring name as bob and is logged in as false so these are the two things i'm uh, i'm declaring okay so the initial state of this name is so initial value for name is bob and initial value for is logged in is false now something happened and these things will be updated inside a react js so how to update this using this dot set state okay so if you are using this dot set state and if you are writing like this is logged in colon true which means is logged in in will be updated from false to true okay the same thing like uh, similar examples are uh, demonstrated here okay so in my previous uh, question i told you like uh, employee had three fields name okay so the first was name then email then password okay so this is how we are updating this in, inside the react js okay so this is how we can update it using spread opt operator okay so whenever when so <clears throat> see whenever someone changes something okay so this is part of form so someone is trying to enter some value into the form so they entered the value of name okay so this function handle change okay will take the value of that particular input text and this is going to be updated here inside this uh, this dot set state so employee component is going to update all the three things name email and password okay let's go and see the next question so it says what are props okay so props is a kind of like uh, important thing when it comes to the passing the data from the one component to the other components okay so props are argument passed into react components okay so if you are if you have two components if you want to pass the data from one component to the other component so you you will be you will be taking the help of props okay so props are passed to component via html attributes props stand for properties okay so say this i have taken one example so <clears throat> this is your so i have declared one list component okay and here what i am doing is i am declaring one array so that array name is employee and inside that employee i am declaring three employees id name and city okay so this employee will have three elements all the three elements will have parameters like id name and city okay now i want to pass this uh, employee parameter to the other component so that we can use this employee parameter in some other component so how to pass it so this is the list component this is one of the other component where i'm passing this uh, employee okay so employee array is uh, going to pass to this list component okay so you can say this is the props so inside this list component if you write props dot employees you are going to get this three elements or the employee array so the same thing you can refer here so this is my list component so inside this i'm taking help of this props okay so this is nothing but my employees props so <clears throat> here what i'm doing is i'm like using the map function to destructure the array and i want to print the uh, id name and city okay let's see the next question 
it says what is the difference between props and a state okay so <coughs> props is something uh, which are read only okay a state changes can be asynchronous okay props are immutable however a state is mutable props can be accessed by the child component a state cannot be accessed by the child components props are used to communicate between components as i already told you a states can be used for rendering dynamic changes with the component so both the things we have seen a state as well as props a stateless component can have props like functional components okay so uh, we do have two kind of components inside the react js uh, one is the stateless component which is called a functional component and other another is a stateful component which is called class component okay so a stateless component cannot have a state okay then props make components reusable however a state cannot make components reusable props allow you to pass the data from one component to another component as an argument okay and a state holds information about the components okay let's let's go to the next question it says what are the different phases of react component life cycle okay so the probability of this question being asked in any react interview is too high so you you may be facing this question every time okay so the first phase is initial rendering phase this is the phase when the component is about to start its life journey and make its way to the dom okay the second phase is updating phase so once the component gets added to the dom it can potentially update the re-render only when a prop or a state changes occurs that happens only in this phase so all the updates will be taken care in this updating phase and the last thing is unmounting phase okay so this is the final phase of a component life cycle in which the component is destroyed and removed from the dom so after it after it's like update anything the last thing will be unmounting phase okay so these are some methods which you can tell to the interviewer because sometimes they will ask you about the methods also like what are the component life cycle method because i already told you there is three phases mounting updating and unmounting okay so the first method is component will mount the second method is component did mount third is component will receive props okay fourth is suit component update fifth is component will update okay sixth is component did update and seventh is component will unmount so this is unmounting phase okay and uh, this three are like this three are update phase and this is this three are the mounting phase okay so this is all about uh, uh, the top 10 most frequent asked question in react js okay we'll come up with uh, the next 10 questions in the next session probably so if you have some doubt just put out your uh, doubts and query in the comment section we'll try to answer it okay so thank you guys have a nice day bye bye take care